Chair, well, um, delighted to see you in the Chair this afternoon and I'm um, delighted <coughs> a little bit to take a call on part one of the bill. And um, as uh, my colleague Trevor Mallet has outlined, there are only three little parts to this bill. Um, and I wanted to concentrate on part, um, clause three, which is the Principal Act amended. And I do have to agree with um, Mr Mallard actually that, you know, that, that tells the truth, that clause. You know, there's nothing, um, it's very sinister though. It's got um, half a dozen words. This Act amends the Employment Relations Act 2000. Now, they are words that I hoped as a Member of Parliament, I would never, ever have to hear from a national government because they are words that are filled with foreboding. Amending the Employment Relations Act 2000, it's beyond our worst nightmares, this bill, and the amendments that this bill contains. And I just wanted um, to take the opportunity to talk about what the amendments, the Principal Act being amended, um, what, it, what, it has mean, what it has meant for people who are already under the Minister's former uh, amendment to the Employment Relations Act 2000, and that is in workplaces of less than 20, and what it means for workers that are going to be, every worker in the country that's going to be affected by this bill. And I just wanted to put on the record, while I had a chance to talk about the Act being amended, some stories that have come through, and there are many. There are many. I'm not going to talk about Source Nioli. I'm going to talk about the stationary store worker who was fired on the 85th day of her 90-day period. She only worked Saturdays. She was never told there was any dissatisfaction. An experienced hairdresser who had never been dismissed before over many years of work working for several employers. A recent university graduate employed by an accounting firm. Near the end of his 90-day period, the employer said he'd done well and he'd be offered a new agreement. Well, when he got a new agreement was unlawful. Uh, that also had a 90-day period in it. He, the worker pointed out it was unlawful, uh, and the boss said, don't come Monday. Then there was a farm worker who, on his first week on the farm, picked up an infection related to his job. He was in hospital for a week, and then he returned to the farm, and he got sacked. And the 90-day trial period was used. And the amendments, the Principal Act being amended, is going to have this consequence on thousands and thousands of workers, 400,000 workers who change their jobs every year are going to be at risk from this sort of treatment. There was another uh, young woman who talked to me who started work in a telemarketing firm for a heating firm, sorry, and despite bringing in sales was sacked after just eight days with no reason given. And she wrote to the company and asked for a reason, but she's never received a reply because under this doesn't have to, they don't have to give an answer. And then there was a woman uh, who moved from the north to the South Island to be close to her elderly parents and took up a job with a local firm. She got positive feedback on her performance and even suggested some training on her own behalf in order to improve further. She was dismissed with no reason given. With an unsold home in, north, in the North Island, she's now living in a caravan. This is the consequences of clause three of, the, of uh, part one of the Act, the Principal Act being amended. There was a woman taken on by a call centre who had a hearing impairment, and the employer knew when he took the woman on. The employer knew. But anyway, instead of, as she, and she did require some special equipment, um, but instead of providing it, they changed their mind and just simply fired her under the 90-day Act. Don't come Monday. And a worker in a communications company turned up for work to find the office being renovated. Unable to find alternative facilities, they simply fired that worker, said, we don't have to give you any reason, we can fire you because of the 90-day Act. This is the old one, we're talking about the new one, we're talking about the principal Act being amended, that, that, that's going to mean it has consequences for thousands and thousands of workers. Now, there was an early childhood teacher who, with 11 years of teaching and nannying experience, and she took a job at an early childhood education centre in preference over another offer. Six weeks into a new job, she was told there was a complaint against her and fired the next day. No previous concerns had been uh, raised about her performance, and she was given no chance to read the complaint the employer had or to respond to it. Now, that's an early childhood education teacher. I thought we were short of them. I thought there was a problem with trying to get... Mind you, there's going to be a surplus, isn't there? There's going to be no positions, because that's right, because they're cutting back on early childhood education. But all of that investment 
uh, we have put into that person in her training to make sure that she's able to provide proper education to our children. She's gone. She, she will find it really hard to get another job, and she's devastated by that. And the consequences of this amendment are severe. Cool.